All right, it's quarterfinal Friday in Operation Football, which tonight gets co-billing with volleyball this evening. State semifinals in volleyball in Lincoln, but let's start with football. Our monster matchup is a rematch of the best game of the regular season. Bellevue West at Gretna. That is where we join our Matt Foster, who's standing by live. Hey, Matt. Andy, it's tough to follow up with the way that regular season game went, but just like that one, this one came down to the wire. Two of the best teams in the state win or go home here at Gretna, and it featured two of the best quarterbacks in Class A, one of them being Zane Flores, the Gretna senior gunslinger, setting a Class A career passing yard record tonight with his second completion of the game. But it was the ground game that stole the show early on in this one. Jaden Bullion, out of the Wildcat, bullies his way in for his second touchdown of the game and puts the T-Birds up 14-0. But the Dragons finally got on the board midway through the second. A little double reverse, and it's Tyson Boganowski running it in from a few yards out. Gretna down seven at the break. But the Dragons would take the opening drive of the second, and Flores on the sneak ties it up at 14. But that did not last long. Isaiah McMorris takes a direct snap, fights his way in for six, and restores the Bellevue West lead. But Gretna would answer, and with the game knotted at 21, Daniel Kalen's pass tipped up by McMorris and picked off by Alex Wilcoxon. Big momentum swing, Dragons in business, and they capitalize. Floors fires it over the middle to Isaiah Weber for six. Gretna grabs its first lead of the game. Then, after another Thunderbird turnover, it's Weber again, powering it in and delivering the Dragon Dagger. No crazy comeback needed this time. Gretna is marching on to the semifinals. 35-23 the final. But we didn't want to get dig, dig ourselves that big of a hole. We had a little bit of a hole we, we, we came came out of. And uh, again, you know, kids fought hard and, and the coaches made the uh, made the adjustments to, to, to get it done. Nothing better than football in the fall, right? I mean, they're, they're hitting hard, pads are popping, so it's a good time. Oh, it's just clutch. I mean, our motto on defense is to be stingy. So that's what those guys were. They stepped up big time and made t big time plays, so. I asked Weber what the mindset of this Dragon team moving forward is. It's still one week, one game at a time. That next game, Creighton Prep right here next Friday with a trip to Memorial Stadium on the line. Reporting live at Gretna High School, Matt Foster, KETV Newswatch 7 Sports. Thank you, Matt. Let's speaking of the Junior Jays, trying to play spoiler on Alcorn South's home field. Third quarter, Creighton up. 10 zip, but Riley Hodge is getting the storm on the board with a 27 yard field goal. Let's move ahead to the fourth. Same score 10 3. Carson Rahner trying to make a play, but it's George Egan coming down with the interception. The fourth of the night for the Junior Jays. Final minutes now, fourth and goal for the storm, but the pass incomplete, and the Junior Jays pull off the upset, handing Elkhorn South their first loss of the season. Miller South on the road at Grand Island. GI up 14 10 late in the first half. It's Cohen Evans who wants more, but DeLon Jones of Millard South with other ideas. The interception and the Patriots still within four at the break, but it's all the Islanders in the second half. Jace Christman, he's back from injury and back with a vengeance. He scores the touchdown on the pitch. Grand Island eliminates Millard South 28 to 10. West side, Lincoln Southwest, not only meeting on the football field in the quarterfinals, but also on the volleyball court in the semifinals. We'll start on the gridiron, the top seeded Warriors hosting Lincoln Southwest at Phelps Field. Hope team with a 7 0 lead, but on fourth and one, the jump ball coming down to Jackson Carpenter. Silverhawks tied at seven. Next drive, Warriors junior quarterback Anthony Rezac calling his own number, going 54 yards on touch. And the Warriors up 14-7. Back and forth we go. Cal Newell with a two-yard touchdown, but Westside comes from behind and moves on to the semifinal. They win 42-28. They'll play Grand Island. So here is the updated Class A bracket. State semifinals next Friday. Gretna hosting Creighton Prep, and Westside hosts Grand Island. A ticket to Memorial Stadium on the line. All right.